Welcome back to the channel where we talk all things Longmont and surrounding areas. And today we are going to tackle radon because I have learned from all the clients that I get from out of state that some of you all don't know what radon is. So we are gonna talk about that today and why it is important to test for radon when you are buying a house in Longmont and surrounding areas. I am a realtor here in the area. I love when you text, email, pick up the phone and call me. Love chatting with you all and I get calls, texts and emails from people just like you every day. So I am here to help. My details are down below. Let's get on with talking about radon. So what is radon? Well, radon is a radioactive, mm -hmm, colorless, odorless, tasteless gas. It occurs naturally and it can be scary if you have never heard about it before. So the best place to go to read about it is the EPA website and it will also explain what levels are safe and what aren't. And really it comes down to what you are comfortable with having in your home. So let's talk more about radon in your home. We here in Colorado suggest, well I do as a realtor, suggest that when you buy a home, if the home does not already have a working radon system in it, that you get the home tested for radon when you are doing your other inspections. And it's super easy. All inspectors in the area, well, I would say most of them, my inspectors do can test for radon for you. What they'll do is put the monitor in, leave it in for 48 hours, and then we'll, we will get the results and it will give us an average number. So you, the EPA says you want that number to be below four. Um, some people feel comfortable when it's a little less, but most of the time you can get the seller to install a radon system, especially in a slower market like we have now. And if it is four or above, if it's below four, then usually they won't do it because the, of the EPA guidelines. But you can always go ahead and put one in if you are not comfortable with the test results that you see. And a system costs around a thousand or under, depending if there's already a sump pit, which is maybe another thing you don't know about. Um, which is in, are in most houses here in Colorado, then they can install it through the sun pit and then that makes it cheaper. Also depends how big your house is and which way they're rooting the pipes out of the house. Um, and it's all about airflow, getting good airflow to kind of disperse that radon gas. Now you can also get charcoal test kits at Home Depot. So say that you get the house tested and it is a two and a half and you don't put a system in. Well, each year you can get a cheap test from Home Depot or online and kind of mail the results in, test it yourself, see where it's at and then decide what you want to do. If you are going to have somebody sleeping in the basement, then I would definitely suggest getting a radon system. Um, if you have a basement and you don't spend a lot of time in it, if it's more for storage, then, and you have those levels below four, then maybe you don't need to worry about it so much. It is totally up to your comfort level. So wanna know more about radon? Be sure to read up, like I said, the EPA website is probably the best place to do that. And I can put a link to that below as well. And ask me a question down below about radon or text call, email me. Always happy to help. I hope this was helpful today, especially if you are buying a home in Colorado. Hope you have a fabulous fall day. See ya.